Welcome to Ham Smarter with VE6LK. I'm Vince, and let's take a look at how to back up an SD card on your Raspberry Pi computer or your ZBit X radio. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So as an IT guy, I know that it's always a good thing to have a backup of a computer so that in case something happens, and I'm not saying something happened, uh, no, no, I wouldn't admit to that, that you can roll back and you can get your computer running again. In this case, it's a ZBit X radio. Now the ZBit X has a Raspberry Pi 20W single board computer on it and it comes with a little tiny SD card just like this one I am holding up and that means from time to time well something might happen to that card you never know and boy wouldn't it suck to not have your favorite radio working so first off let's take a look at some of the hardware you're going to need to do this with the ZBit X radio, it has a micro USB slot in it, and you're going to need a way to mount a second SD card on the radio, or on the computer if you will, um, in such a way that you can write to it. So what I've got here on the desk is I have a micro USB uh, connector here which goes into the radio to a three port USB a hub the, and I'll put you know links down in the description below the next thing I've got is a little tiny card reader that is USB a I've had this one for years I'll find one on Amazon and, and link to it in the description below and lastly I have the uh, 32 gig SD card because that's what came with the radio so you need one at least that big when you're duplicating a card so hang on a minute let me get everything connected up and then I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, so you can see I've got the hub uh, plugged into the uh, USB port on the radio. The hub is sitting here. I've got the memory card holder and I've got the memory card uh, just slotted in there. So the next thing I'm going to do is power up the radio. The, yeah, the, you do all of this. You got to do all of this with the power off, right? Um, so I'm going to power up the radio and then show you what that looks like. Okay, now I've got the radio powered up and I am here on a, a Telnet or screen sharing session to the SBitX, in this case VNC. You can do that by enabling VNC on the ZBitX. There's plenty of documents out there to tell you how to do that on any Raspberry Pi. The ZBitX is no different in this respect. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get back to the console. I'm just going to simply uh, stop or kill the SBitX, uh, the, the radio application itself. And now you can see I've got the, you know, the text window in the background. And now I'm going to... Uh, click on the start button and I'm going to go to accessories and the SD card copier. And the SD card copier is a GUI that uh, makes it real easy. So I want to copy from the SD that's built into it and I'm copying to the device. In my case it comes up and says a USB reader and then I simply say start. And it's going to warn me and I'm going to say, yes, I do want to do that. And now it's going to go and do stuff. And so through the magic of editing, I am going to come back in about, oh, 10, 12, 15 minutes. And I'm going to show you what the output looks like. So stick around. Feels like there should be elevator music running. Do, 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 Okay, and so the backup is complete, and I'll show you uh, what I'm going to do next. I'm going to say uh, copy is complete. I'm actually going to shut down the Pi, and this is how you shut down a Raspberry Pi. You click on logout, and I'm going to say shut down, and then let me uh, show you what happens next. Well, so now I've got the uh, memory card in the memory card holder. I can pop it out, and I'm going to do something with it. Uh, here's what I'm going to do with it. This is the inside of the battery holder, the ZBIT X, and you can simply set it there, and you can take a piece of Kapton tape. Now, if you've ever seen Kapton tape, it's pretty distinctive stuff. It's got this yellow color to it. 
And uh, the cool thing about Kapton tape is it doesn't leave any gluey residue behind. So you can uh, pull that tape off years from now and there'll be no uh, residue uh, left there at all. So let's take a look here now at the, uh, the Z-Bit X and I'm just going to slide this in and you know when I'm done I just fit the two screws on there. Well so now I've got a copy of the SD card backup stored inside the radio so it's with me at all times and all I have to do is pop off a couple of screws and mount the SD card and get my radio back the way it was. The only disadvantage with this is you lose your log files. If you ever corrupt that SD card you're going to lose whatever was logged on that uh, card because that's where it's written to. But Hey, that's a small price to pay to uh, get your radio back up and running fast. I hope you have found this helpful. Uh, 7.3, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. See you later. Bye for now.